today we get a new build of Windows 11. This time it is build 22,000.100 and with it is a slew, I mean a slew of bug fixes and some uh, other fixes too for the UI of the whole operating system as well. So let's jump in, but just warning you guys, uh, towards the end of the video, I go on a little rant about some inconsistencies. So if you like that stuff, be sure to tune into that part. Be sure to tune in. So let's jump in. All right, so here we are taking a look at build 22,000.100 of Windows 11. And there's not too many big, big changes that are in it. It's mainly a lot of uh, minute fixes and bug fixes. So let's start off by looking into the article here that Microsoft posted on their Windows blogs. So again, they're talking about that they started rolling out the chat for teams uh, to insiders in the dev channel, but not everyone's getting it right away. I do in fact have it right now, so you can see it does work for me. Um, obviously, I don't have any contacts because I don't use Microsoft Teams, but this is essentially it. Um, and then they also said that the hidden icons fly out in the lower right corner of the taskbar and updated to match the style of Windows 11. So basically, it's this right here. You click it, and now it matches that style with the rounded corners and things like that, much like how the Start menu also has the rounded corners. Uh, to me, I can already just say right off the bat, the kind of gradient, the acrylic-y feel that is the background of the start menu, it doesn't look like it carries over to this menu here. There's kind of just an outline. It doesn't look like it's exactly that. In fact, we can test that by bringing something dark in. Yeah, it, it barely, barely does that. I'm not sure right away. It could do that. Who knows? But that's how it looks right now. It kind of looks like it has an outline. It's not perfect. So going back in, uh, it says we added the ability to access focus assist directly from the uh, action center or the notification center. So basically, if you go to the notification center by tapping your basic calendar and time or your date and time things, you can see focus assist and then it goes into settings. And right there, you can already see an issue that I'll address later on, which is it goes directly to the system settings itself instead of into the actual focus assist settings. But I'll address that later on in the video. Um, it says uh, another, a couple things too that they also added is says that slightly red backplay of the icon, red pill will signify a background activity needs your attention. So if something is happening in the background and it, it'll start pulsating red so that way you know, hey, this thing needs your attention, click it so that you can say hit replace the file or whatever it is. Um, says the touch icon on the touch the touch keyboard icon on the taskbar has been adjusted to be more consistent with the size of other icons in the corner. Again, consistencies is something that um, I'll address later on in the video. I have some things that I have to say. Get off my chest about it. Um, it says the taskbar calendar flyout will now cl fully collapse down when clicking on the chevron in the top corner of the of the room to show you more notifications. So basically, you click date and time. You see my calendar is collapsed. This is how it looks like now. Uh, before it used to just get rid of the grade I, grade numbers. It would just drop down some. Now it just it drops down all the way, so you can just see the date, and then you click it back to see more. So you can do that now. Now I kind of wish, honestly, that maybe even notifications would do the same thing. Um, that could just be me, but I kind of wish that was the case. I could, of course, just clear notifications. Um, another thing too, it says taskbar uh, calendar flyout will collapse, and it says latest Microsoft Store update rolling out. They made navigation field a little different. So it's basically a little different animation. So an example here is this little movie called Separation. Uh, if I click away, and then let's say I want to click on a movie. So let's go down, let maybe, let's see Forever Purge, the new Purge movie. See, it kind of flows in just like that, and you can't see what my hands just did, but it kind of flows in. It looks it looks pretty interesting. It looks, it looks pretty clean. Let's look at Spiral. See, kind of it kind of dips in from the background and pulls forward and grows in size to show that it is, in fact, active. Um, so that's pretty dope. Um, pretty simple things like that. So they have updated animations and then they have a whole bunch of fixes from the taskbar. So basically one of the fixes was when you had the start menu open and you wanted to look at your task view, task view, task view would end up behind the start uh, menu area. So this area right here, task view would end up behind it. So you couldn't actually interact with it. Now, when you hover over it, you see that it ends up over top of it. So you can actually interact with it. Um, they did say another thing too was when task view was open and you right clicked, uh, it wouldn't go away and you couldn't interact with this hide from taskbar thing. Now you can in fact do that. It's very simple. 
works really well now. So yeah, that's about that for in terms of the major, major things. There's a whole bunch of bug fixes, like a huge list of bug fixes on this, shortcut fixes, just a ton on there. Um, so now let's go into the, my favorite next segment, things that I found wrong or inconsistencies. All right, so now that we're in this segment of my inconsistencies slash gripes about the Windows 11 so far, um, in this current video, in this current update build, basically 0.100, 22,000, 0.100, uh, I wrote here, the main system icons right click menu gap between are different between the system icons and the normal icons so by system icons i mean like the start button search task view widgets and even this chat icon right here all of these things you cannot shift around as you can tell you can't shift it they're like the main icons you can't shift it you can only hide it when you right click them you see the gap right there i've mentioned it in a previous video the gap at the bottom is very close together same for this one it's the same distance same 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 but then you go to the store and you right click you see the gap is much larger that was just kind of an annoyance to me why that's the case i have no idea another just simple annoyance that i have already put feedback for is that um you can't rearrange any of these the search or anything like that it's kind of annoying because these are just icons at this point they're not like a, it's not like a full search bar like there used to be on windows 10 so they should be able to be rearranged but for some reason they've chosen that you cannot rearrange any of these things you can only hide them so i wish that could be fixed um another thing is certain settings certain ways you go to settings like interact with certain settings in the computer uh they don't go to settings they go to the general settings page so an example is display settings so if i right click and I want to go to display settings. You would assume that it would go into where it says display settings. But when I click it, you see here, it goes directly to just system settings. Then you have to click on display right here for it to go in. Now, the difference is if you already have your settings open and you right click and then you hit display settings, it will go to display settings. And that works for all of their, all the quirks that I found so far that I'm about to show you guys. If you already have settings open, it will go to its settings when you do it while settings is open. Another one is notification settings. So if you open up notifications and you want to go to, let's say it's settings. So you right click right here and then you see notification settings. If I click that, rather than going to notification settings, which is right here, it actually just goes to the basic system settings again, the general system settings page. Another one is the adjust date and time. When you click that, it doesn't go exactly to date and time. It goes to time and language, but date and time is one, one menu in more. So I feel like it should go into date and time exactly. It should take you exactly where you expect it to go, but it doesn't do that. Um, another one is taskbar settings, the infamous taskbar settings. You click it, it doesn't, it goes to taskbar settings because settings was already open. But if I close out of settings, click on taskbar settings, it goes to personalization for some reason, which doesn't make any sense because you right click the desktop and then you go to personalize, then it goes to personalization. So that's another weird quirk. Um, another thing is for the sound, when you right click and you want to go to the volume mixer and you click that doesn't take you to volume mixer it takes you to the settings and then one final one the sound settings so that's basically when you click on that and then you want to go into this is all settings and you want to see all your sound settings so click click and then you see more volume settings you click that it takes you to system settings again so it's just those weird things you expect it to take you directly to that front page of where those settings are and it doesn't do that. It's very strange. Um, another thing is uh, an inconsistency in the tray. And again, we I call it the tray. I don't know what it's really called, um, but basically uh, right here, the safely remove and, and eject media, hardware and media. Um, when you see that and you see the Windows security, right click it, you'll see how it looks. I don't know, it's because they probably haven't updated the app or whatever it is, the program to show better but Windows security shows it completely differently. Now it is different in like my Corsair IQ and Razors. So it is based on the developer updating their app or program to have that. But I picked those two on purpose just because Microsoft, these are Microsoft stuff right here. Teams looks about normal. Teams looks about the same as this, only this is bolded for some reason, I don't know why. So that was another weird thing. And then the final thing that I had here um, was spacing issues. Um, 
uh, in the context menus, basically the right click menus. So I compared it to the start button in the desktop. So when you right click the start button and you see this menu, you see how big the text is, how big the shading is when I hover over any icon. It doesn't have icons on the side like the background on the, on the desktop itself. And for some reason, I see that this area, these contact, this context menu is, there's a lot more spacing between everything and there obviously are icons there. Now, one thing I did notice was when I open up my file explorer and I right click anything in it, it shows that same size as when I right click my desktop. So I'm thinking maybe the, their thought process was, if it has icons on the side, we'll make the menu bigger. But if it doesn't have icons on the side, the menu gets smaller. Um, it's just, it's it was just interesting to me that I noticed that it's it's kind of weird. Um, I kind of wish they would just pick a size because there is still space to shrink everything more to take up less space. Um, even with these icons there, you can still shrink it to be the same size as this. Just a preference, but it's just a quirk. And then last thing, um, a lot of people have been pointing out Twitter everywhere to bring back um, the small icons or small taskbar. Um, I don't really care for that, but I mean, it's, I've heard a lot of people say that, and I guess it'd be nice to do that so that the taskbar takes up less space. So overall, the build, current build of Windows 11, build 22,000.100 is a pretty solid build. Again, I've been running it as my daily driver for a very long time, and it's, uh, it's still smooth to me. Everything that they're addressing, like half the stuff I don't use, but some of the quirks that I'm noticing... Uh, it's just kind of quirky and annoying to see, you know, I have a whole bunch of platforms of OS's that I own right now. And it's kind of quirky seeing that windows is, has some of those inconsistencies. And I know it's always had inconsistencies, even from the early windows eight days and the, even before that. So let's hope that things improve more and more and more as time goes by closer to release. And we don't even know when release is, but yeah, ramble over. Um, yeah, my name is Kwaku. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and sorry for the ramble. I had to do it. I had to get it out of my chest. Um, yeah, let me know what you guys think about this current build and how you think of the state of Windows 11 so far. Do you like it? I always ask that question. What do you like about it? What do you hate about it? Just curious. Let me know in the comment section below. Take care.